what can you expect after four years at Union College? The faculty at Union have sat down and come up with a number of specific goals that we'd like our students to achieve by the time they graduate in the geosciences. In particular, we'd like you to have field experience. We'd like you to get out in the field, see rocks, see sediment, see a glacier, and understand the processes that affect those rocks and glaciers in the field. So number one is practical field experience that allows you to function anywhere to understand the disposition of rocks and sediments in the field. The second thing we hope students end up with a, an appreciation for how to use analytical equipment. And we have a number of pieces of equipment in the department, some very sophisticated pieces of equipment that allow for the detailed analysis of rocks, mineral, water, ice, and landforms. This includes analytical equipment that is used for geochemistry. It includes the use of computers to make maps, a whole number of types of machinery and types of tools that the typical geoscientist ends up using, you'll have exposure to and the ability to understand how this machinery works. And third, perhaps most important, is we, we, we hope that we give you a tool set to approach geological problems. And in this tool set, we hope the most important thing is the ability to analyze problems. The ability to think through problems and clearly come to a conclusion based on data. This is perhaps our biggest challenge and is perhaps the biggest reward at the end, is the ability to synthesize data and then in a coherent way bring those data together and present those data. So this includes a focus that we have in the department on writing skills and on speaking skills and on skills for presenting data. In geology there are very specific ways to write and you learn the difference between objectives and goals in Garber's class, you learn the difference between data and interpretation and so it's a great way to learn how to write because you have to be very succinct, very very terse with your words, but get across to somebody, hopefully, interestingly, what you're trying to do, what your study was, and uh, actually just getting to the writing part in terms of my thesis, all of the things that you do, all of the, the lab work you do, the field work, the writing part almost becomes easy after that because you've spent so much time on it. Writing all these labs, not only is it good just to get the practice, but a lot of the professors will correct your labs, they'll turn them back into you, and you have to rewrite them if you want to get the full grade. And that has been really, really helpful because a lot of times you'll write a paper, you'll turn it in, and now you get the grade and you're kind of like whatever, and this forces you to look at it again. And one of the skills that the geology program here has given me is I can write a solid lab very easily. It comes very naturally. I don't have to think about it. I know how it's formatted. I know what people want to hear. I know how to get my point across. Inevitably in your class you have to present to the people and it's a skill learning how to make presentations orally and also in looking at other people's presentations as they present to you, you see what you want in yourself or maybe what you would want to improve on. So you learn a lot from your peers too. You grow with each other and you can bounce ideas off of each other as you're in lab and doing things because you work with partners a lot of the times and you get to, to debate certain things and professors are, are there to guide you. All of this largely falls under the realm of scientific communication. The hallmark of it is being able to think through problems and being able to reason through geologic problems based on the data that are collected. The Earth system is so complex and in order to be successful in geology you really need to be a bit of a detective, a bit of an investigator. Mystery is inherent in what you're writing. You can't answer everything. Nothing is black and white. There are usually lots of possibilities and you have to choose the best one. And that's another very important skill, is learning how to look at things as a geologist. Not just looking around you and seeing trees and rocks, but seeing an image in your mind of what that environment was thousands or millions of years ago.